Good morning guys, welcome to day 5 on my solo trip From Saigon to Hanoi 7am I'm gonna take you guys to the breakfast shop Anh Bình đúng không? Đúng 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 And I ordered a special one, which is uh, just a mixture of everything. I ordered, uh, it's called nuk mơ. Mơ is like a small kind of apricot. Alright guys, here we have the dish, uh, mi quang. It looks very unique, as you can tell. This is a uh, uh, bang chang, which is a uh, rice paper that's fried. Look at the color, it just looks <laughs> For me, it looks like non-Vietnamese in a way, but it's actually just from central uh, Vietnam. We have chili, we have uh, lime here as well. We have. Hi guys, I wrote an ebook that's about 80 pages long. It covers everything you need to know about making a road trip in Vietnam. So it's a great way to support and help out the channel as well. So if you know anyone who you know is planning to do a road trip in Vietnam, please let them know or buy their ebook as a gift for them. And you can help out them to have a great road trip because there are many, many tips there that I wish I knew before I went on a road trip. Thank you guys. Let's get back to the delicious Mi Quang. He was talking about I asked him how to eat it and he said you can just uh, add some uh, you can just add some of the lemon, some of the chili, but I'm gonna try it first without anything just to see the flavor, okay? Alright guys, first uh, try the soup. I always do that in any kind of noodle soup. I just try the broth first. It tastes very special. It tastes like nothing like a um, noodle soup I've had in uh, the south or in the north. It really is different. I'm gonna add a little bit of the fresh salad here into the bowl. Not too much though. The salad looks uh, pretty fresh, so it should be fine. That's it. Because the egg is really flavorful, so that's very smart of them to, to like soak it in the broth. And this is the nuk mơ. Ah, that's really nice. It's more like plum than apricot. I have to say this is the one of the best noodle dishes I've had in Vietnam so far, like no doubt. And now it's getting more crowded as well, guys. You can see only a local so far, so uh, you know it's the real deal. Bye bye. Okay. Có phải là bạn Trung không ạ? Thế biển số 92 ở ở Mô Rứa. Ở Quảng Nam. Ah, Quảng Nam. Really balanced flavors, really nice. I will leave the address below, you guys can check it out. I'm gonna check out the area uh, by the beach a little bit. So it's very lovely to walk here. I actually really like Da Nang, it's a very nice city, central part of the country. So Da Nang is the perfect option for you if you like both city and uh, beach. The beach is very good, I really like the beach here. I would say it's the one of the best beaches in the whole country. The weather is so nice, I almost don't want to leave. It's eight now, I have to check out at 12. I'm here at the cafe by the street. So I did order uh, the coffee with the uh, condensed I'm very sensitive to caffeine, so it's gonna. But I'm just gonna sip it because I'm still addicted to the flavor. I just cannot drink that much, you know. And I have coconut water here as well. When you drink caffeine, you deplete your potassium. Coconut water has a lot of potassium. You know, my idea is to balance the loss of potassium from the caffeine and then add some uh, potassium from the coconut water. So hopefully I will feel not that bad. So yeah, let's mix the coffee. All right, I just mixed the coffee. Just gonna try it now. I mean, it does taste very good. It tastes almost like they put chocolate or something inside. It basically tastes almost like a mocha coffee. The caffeine content is very, very high. For me, I will have like a few sips and that's it. And then I just uh, drink the rest of my coconut water.
lot of uh, Koreans here for some reason. I know they have uh, direct flights from uh, Busan and uh, Seoul. So, uh, but it's really uh, noticeable that there are a lot of Koreans here. A lot of uh, Korean restaurants and cafes and buildings with the Korean uh, the Hangul Hangul alphabet. The good thing about driving at uh, this time of day is that uh, there's less traffic. It's also going to be uh, very bright, so it's not going to look as good on the camera. And uh, there's a beach on this side of the town as well, going all through the bay like this. Uh, I'm day, yeah? making a quick stop here before my phone overheats but it is a stop here in the Haibun uh, Pass that's very beautiful you guys can see in the background the sea looks amazing man so and I'm very lucky today the weather is uh, very nice as well so uh, that's very nice and a lot of people they stopped here to take photos I would reckon if you come here at sunrise or sun There's a guy selling uh, some drinks here on the side and I decided why not just uh, stop here, the view is very nice. If you are in uh, Da Nang or Hue, let you drive here, up here, the view is incredible. So I really recommend you guys to come here. And Look at these guys, holy shit. I mean, this is so cool. Wow. Well, look at the view, guys. You have the clouds. This is the top. That's the top over there. You see the clouds just penetrating through, that's uh, so beautiful, man. Okay, 
here we go down to old way and just look at that view man look it's completely different it's so uh gray down there i just hope i can avoid the uh, rain but looks uh cool Whoa, yeah, the weather is completely different on this side, but still very beautiful. Oh my God, they're driving so fast with a kid that doesn't wear a helmet. I mean, I don't really get that. I've seen it many times in Saigon. They, they drive with a kid. And they're driving faster than I do. Look here, man. Look. I mean, the cops will stop them before me, but uh, imagine driving this fast with a small kid without a helmet. I mean, how much in a rush can they be? You know what I mean? girls are driving like crazy man look 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 <laughs> what the fuck that girl is like wearing shorts and she's just i don't know man so unsafe to drive that speed here you know you, you know the road is not secured from the sides Ooh, for example there that that was not that was pretty close my opinion all right guys please be careful when you drive where there's people markets anything like that never drive too fast because for example this lady she's crossing the street right luckily me or the two other bikes we are not driving too fast like the girls are doing here they are driving much faster than me and i'm pretty sure i'm a better driver than them as well and there's a crossing there guys as you can see and there's a person across the street maybe if that person crossed five seconds earlier it could have been a disaster so please guys if you're gonna drive faster than normal please do it only where it's safe kind of like here there's nothing on the side of the road and you can just continue and focus on driving forward she's checking her bag Welcome to uh, Hue, the ancient uh, capital city of uh, Vietnam. The king uh, used to live here. So this was the uh, main uh, center of the country for uh, quite a while. And it's a very interesting city. I've been here a few times. The food is different, uh, more spicy, more like flavor than Saigon.
uh, just checked in here in the guest house slash homestay. Very nice owners. I found it on Agoda. I'm gonna put the price here so you guys can see how much I am paying. I'm gonna show you guys the room here as well. I'm just here for one night. All right guys, here we have the window for the outside here. People are living right across there. There's a fridge here as well, if you need. It's not on. Hair dryer, pink towel, uh, kettle as well. Bed with some hearts. Uh, TV as well. Aircon, but I don't need an aircon. Here's the bathroom slash shower. I mean, it's uh, pretty nice, you know, I just want to stay in a budget place, so. But I'm very hungry now, so I really need to eat something, so I'm just gonna uh, charge my stuff and then head out right away, so i uh, see you guys out there. But yeah, the weather, you can uh, really feel the difference from uh, Da Nang, which is only like uh, 100 kilometers south. It's uh, much colder here. I see quite a few tourists here. I'm like really surprised. Like what the? Whoa! Nice. Chào chị, à, cơm hén nhé, một phần Vâng Vâng Ok, here we have the dish called cơm hén And it's a rice dish originating in Hue So it's from this city And it consists of cooked baby river mussels or clams You have rice, peanuts, pork rinds, shrimp paste, chili paste as well And it's normally served with the broth of the cooked mussels or clams at room temperature but it's a must try if you're in Hue and it's a very interesting texture very interesting flavor it's a quite a small portion but it's only 25,000 for one portion so you must try that when you're in Hue I want to go to the uh, imperial uh, castle thing mình gửi xe ở đâu anh? À, bây giờ bên em hai năm giờ nghỉ rồi. Năm giờ nghỉ hả? Dạ. Đi theo giờ hành chính. Nhưng mà chưa năm giờ đâu. Dạ, nó ráp được năm giờ thì bên anh nhận. Còn mà ra sau năm giờ tụi em không nhận xe nữa. Vâng, nhưng mà em chỉ muốn đi bộ xung quanh ngay đây được không? Nhưng mà anh ra được năm giờ thôi. Ok, ok. Alright guys, I just made it here to the Imperial uh, Palace, whatever you call it. The guy said I have to be back at five because they closed the parking lot. So I have about 30 minutes to walk around this area. Okay guys, welcome to the beautiful Imperial city of Hue. It is a walled enclosure within the citadel of the city of Hue and the former Imperial capital of Vietnam during the Nguyen dynasty. So Hue was actually the center and the capital of Vietnam for quite some time, guys. And it was constructed in 1803 under Emperor Gia Long as a new capital. And it mostly served as ceremonial function during the French colonial period. And in 1993, the imperial city was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The citadel is made of a few different areas. Like, for example, the flag monument, which is absolutely massive, guys. 
and the main meridian gate as you can see right in front of us here you can go in there and you can pay i think it's about ten dollars two hundred thousand but unfortunately i didn't have time because i arrived too late so i only had 30 minutes to walk around the area which i'm happy i could still do even though i would love to go inside it was oriented to face the Huang River or Perfume River to the southeast. And this differs from Beijing's Forbidden City in which faces true south. So it has to do with, you know, the wind and water as they call it in the Mandarin, like the directions and stuff like that. So they did place it southeast, but not really true south as it quote unquote should be. At its prime, the Forbidden City had many buildings and hundreds of rooms. Once vacated, it suffered from neglect, termite ravages and inclement weather, including a number of cyclones. Cyclones are unfortunately uh, pretty common uh, during the rainy season in the central area of Vietnam. Obviously, most destructive were man-made crises as evidenced in the, you know, you had bullets, holes, still visible from all the wars and military conflicts so i really love this place and i hope you guys have the opportunity to come to hue as well to experience this because it is a bit special because like i said it used to be the capital of vietnam and the good thing is that you can fly directly to hue from both uh, saigon and hanoi or if you're already in Da Nang, you can just take a taxi or something or the train if you want <laughs> It's about a two and a half hour drive, so it's not too far if you want to go for like a two day trip from Da Nang or something. Even though the Imperial City was obviously destroyed and damaged a lot in the past, I'm still very happy it still stands because it's just a beautiful place. And if you like history, I really, really recommend you guys to come here. So hope you guys enjoy the beautiful views here and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Cho em một ổ đặc biệt nhé. Đặc biệt. Vâng. Alright guys, let's try the bang me I just bought for 20k. This is what it looks like inside. It's like a mixture of everything, meatball, sausage, but it's it's very light, you know what I mean? And I'm really starving now, but it looks pretty good to be honest. So let's have a try. I'm very hungry, but my appetite kind of disappeared because she was uh, grabbing the bread with her hands. But then when she exchanged money, she just used the same hand without like love or anything. So. And money is obviously very dirty. I know it's dirty here in general, so you might say, hey, it's dirty everywhere, but it's just a feeling, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, I mean, it does taste very good. It's a little bit different from the Saigonese uh, bread. The right hair, which means like, in this case, it means like clean or hygienic. It's not bad, it actually tastes pretty good, but I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna eat something else now. Hue is a very uh, quiet town. So it's very nice if you like quiet places. I found another place on Google Maps. Apparently they sell the Bumba Hue, which is the noodle soup that I want. So uh, let's find it and I will show you guys. So.
Okay, it's Boon Ba Kwe time, guys. And I have to say that this bow was pretty good, but the price was even better. I paid 40,000 for this bowl, which is pretty good. And as you can see, there were different cuts of meats. You have the meat cake there. You have lean meats, fatty meats. The noodles were pretty good, but I love the lemongrass flavor of this dish, guys. But please subscribe and stay tuned because in the next episode, I will have the best Boon Ba Kwe ever, guys. So this was not the best, but it's still worth going there. They are open at night. They have English menu as well. So you guys can easily order food without any problem. But let's get going now. Oh, just finished that bowl. Not bad, but I'm gonna try another one tomorrow morning just to compare because the ones that have the highest reviews, they are not open at night. They're only open in the morning, so I really wanna try that. So the temperature is pretty good. It's like not too cold in my opinion. It's not hot, it's like perfect for walking outside. So I wanna get my steps in as well because uh, now when you only drive the bike, you know, you don't really walk that much. So. This is one of the most impressive statues I've seen in Vietnam. Especially with the lighting when they displayed like this. Looking pretty uh, beautiful at night, right? Uh, actually, purple is the color of Hue, actually. So uh, they usually associate uh, purple color with Hue. Chào anh. Có phải là quốc anh không ạ? Quốc anh. Vâng. Vâng, cảm ơn ạ. Guys, I'm at the uh, shop and they sell the typical uh, dessert called chè, purple sweet potato. It's very typical for this region, so I'm just gonna try it and see. But it looks pretty cool with the color and everything. But you're supposed to add a little bit of um, ice as well. So you just mix it up a little bit. I mean, it does taste great, I have to say. Because it's not as sweet as in the south. Malama. Ah, uh, khoai tía. Người Huế á, gọi là khoai tía. Người Nam á, tức là người Sài Gòn á, gọi là khoai mờ. Thì người Bắc thì sao? Không biết. Mười không? Vâng vâng, cảm ơn nhé. Ok, gặp sau. Ok. Vâng vâng, vâng, cảm ơn ạ. This is the last expense of the day uh, lemonade and some kind of uh, yogurt with passion fruit mix it's been a lovely day it's been a great adventure driving from uh, Da Nang to Hue and past the uh, Haivan uh, mountain pass it was just amazing tomorrow I will wake up not too early but not too late so uh, I can continue my journey up north please subscribe please like the video please comment good night guys